everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be talking about things i wish i knew as a new grad software engineer so it has been almost two years since i started working full time after university and there are a couple of things i wish i knew as that would have made my experience a lot better in these initial years and i'm gonna be sharing those with you today so whether you just graduated or you have been working in corporate for a couple of months, I'm sure these tips will be helpful to you. So I hope you gain something out of it and let's get started. Let's get on to the first tip. Don't be scared of asking questions. I struggled with this for so long and I still do sometimes, but when I started out, it was quite bad to be honest. It took me some time to realize this and the reason I was scared of asking questions is because I didn't want to look incompetent and didn't want my teammates to judge me for asking silly questions. But guess what? I was wrong. They were more than willing to answer my questions and help me out. What I initially used to do is spend quite a lot of time digging answers myself on Stack Overflow and documentations. And even though it is recommended to do some research before asking questions, just struggling with something for way too long is not good. It would not only increase the amount of time you take to complete a task, but it also won't leave a good impression on among your teammates because they don't know that you are silently struggling. So just try to reach out to somebody, get some help and try to get things done quickly. Also, it's better to ask basic questions when you are just starting out in your initial years than asking those same basic questions when you are at a senior level. So that's my first advice. Let's get on to the second tip. Accepting that you or others know everything and embracing continuous learning. Learning is a lifelong process as you know and if you are in tech, you would know that technology is rapidly evolving and there will always be something new to learn so you should be open to doing that. Apart from honing tech skills, I feel it's really important to understand the business side of things. That would depend on the kind of organization you are in and the team you are working with. So try to reach out to your teammates, try to discuss these things and try to get more insights on the business in general. And uh, for example, I work in an investment bank. So for me, it was important to understand the financial terms to be able to deliver a good quality project and to be able to understand the requirements in a better way. So that's one thing I would recommend. Try to understand the business side of things. You can never know everything about the business, but it's always good to have an overview because it helps you in understanding what you're building. Apart from this, I feel having a learning routine or just finding some time every day, like just 30 minutes or one hour to learn something can help you in a long run. I have interacted with a lot of senior engineers and most of them actually have fixed amount of time like every day they try to learn something new so they use company resources and the learning resources to stay updated and try to devote some fixed time every single day i feel that's very important for new grads because uh, once you start working you will be busy in that cycle of just going to work doing the job and you might just ignore learning something new so it's very important to have a learning routine and make it a habit the next tip is documenting so documenting your work is incredibly important when you work on big tasks like migrating an app or service to a new platform or just adopting a new technology, make sure to document the whole process as this documentation can be a lifesaver when you have to do a similar thing for another app or service and this can also serve as a valuable resource for your teammates and other folks in your organization. Also, I would say don't just stop at big tasks, try to document your daily work too. It helps you in keeping track of what you have accomplished throughout the year and in each quarter. And it also helps you in writing your year end review because when the year ends and you have to write that whole thing, what you have done, what you have accomplished. Uh, a lot of us have to do that and I'm telling this from my experience. Uh, so just having a clear documentation of what you have accomplished in each quarter and things you have worked on um, will help you a lot in this process. 
Also, I would recommend documenting your one-on-ones with your manager, as their feedback and any action items. This way, you will have a clear record of your progress and areas of improvement. Next, let's talk about networking. As a new grad, it's easy to get caught up in the work and forget about building good connections. So participating in hackathons, joining communities related to your field and uh, something that you are interested in. There are learning groups and that you can join and get to know what's happening around the organization. Uh, you should try to attend conferences and events that are happening in your firm because this way you will be able to make good connections. You will be able to find good mentors and collaborators. Networking not only helps you learn and grow, but also opens up new opportunities that you wouldn't have come across otherwise. It also helps you in building good relationships and staying engaged with the wider tech community. You will be able to get more ideas and innovative things that other people are implementing. So do try to build good connections. Lastly, let's talk about communication. As you know, communication is the key and this includes communication with your manager, your teammates and people outside your team as well. Regularly try to meet people from other team and try to learn more about their work as well. This can give you a new perspective and different new ideas that you can also bring back to your projects and your teammates. Effective communication ensures that everyone is on the same page and can collaborate more efficiently so don't hesitate to ask questions try to uh, share your innovative ideas with others and get to know what others are working on so those are a couple of things from my side i feel every new grad should focus on these five things at least and uh, they will definitely help them in their career in the initial years uh, there will be more things for sure and if any senior engineer comes across this video and wants to add something from their side it would be very helpful so please feel free to do that add your tips and advice in the comment box below and yeah those are a couple of tips from my experience and uh, i hope you found these helpful if you did please do like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll be back with more coding related content so stay tuned subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again with a new video till then take care bye, -bye.